Hi, welcome along to another video. Links to the articles shown are in the information section of this video. We start in Texas, where a United Arab Emirates cloud seeding test has shown promising results. Scientists are testing nanomaterials that could prove to be more effective at generating rain from clouds. We can see in the picture there an aeroplane carrying out the cloud seeding trial over Texas. This is from the 15th of August 2021. Taking a closer look at the aeroplane in the picture, those of you familiar with the aeroplanes will see that that tech looks a little bit different than normal. And this is the nano tech version. There's a picture of normal weather modification planes with the flares attached to the wing. There's another one. And there's another one. Sticking with the UAE from 2016, where all this nano weather modification tech started. The UAE is investing in rain enhancement. Meteorologists have told the Conference of Parties 22, COP22. Scientists have been looking at techniques such as cloud seeding and the first annual grant of 5 million US dollars has been awarded to researchers seeking solutions. The link to that article is provided but it's no longer on the national website and it's also not on the Wayback Machine. So back to the recent article, the UAE trial involving new cloud seeding technology has shown promising results. The National Center of Meteorology carried out a series of flights over Texas while working with the US state's local weather association. Nanomaterials are tiny manufactured substances that can be designed for a specific purpose. In the case of cloud seeding, they replace traditional salt, dry ice and other chemicals as a more effective tool in generating rain from existing clouds. Note how they say traditional, salt and dry ice, where traditionally it's silver iodide. But that'll be the other chemicals, because you're only supposed to think about traditional salt or dry ice. The sort of thing that's in nightclubs with you, you know, totally safe. Modify the weather, hey, but it's totally safe. It's all traditional. Details of the experiments held in collaboration with the West Texas Weather Modification Association were not revealed in full. Along with nanomaterials, the UAE has even tested drones that can emit electrical charges to stimulate rainfall. To carry on with the history of the nanotech, from January 2017, the rain boosting material was patented in the US. Teams nanotechnology can boost cloud seeding by 100 fold to encourage rainfall. So it's 100 times more effective a new nano sized coating of titanium dioxide on salt crystals can boost cloud seeding by 100 fold by 100 times. The drone testing that can emit electrical charges. So from May 2017, this man says he can bring rain. Dubai based scientist claims his system has helped draw in rain to the UAE. If you look at that system, you will obviously relate that to harp facilities. For those of you that think harp facilities are a conspiracy theory, we'll stop by Facebook Bulgaria where there's a little video of the open house highlights at Harp Kokona 2018. Zimbabwe. Three things we must do to stabilize the planet. Not we should do or could do or maybe need to sit down and have a chat about this. We must do it. And just to be clear, so everybody's clear on this, nowhere is safe. Absolutely nowhere. The article, all at the same time with this IPCC report that's come out, it is vital to pivot the world back from this ice melt tipping point and to repair the Arctic as rapidly as possible. Marine cloud brightening, in which floating solar powered pumps spray salt upwards to brighten clouds and create a reflective barrier between the sun and the ocean is known to cool ocean surfaces and is a promising way to promote arctic summer cooling. 
it mimics nature and can be scaled up or down in a flexible way. Studies of marine cloud brightening, its climate impacts and interactions with human systems are underway. So they want to do something to mimic nature, but if nature is doing what nature is doing, and nature is natural, then there's no need to mimic it. And studies that are already underway, that's correct, they've been going on for about five years, down over by Australia. That's the marine cloud brightening studies. Obviously they use different names for different projects and different terms, because otherwise you'll know there's projects there called marine cloud brightening, there's projects here called stratospheric aerosol injection, there's projects there called solar radiation management, and you'll find out one project is being dispersed from gondolas, one project is from sprayed pumps, one project is from aeroplanes, one project is from ground-based generators, and you start to build a bigger picture, don't you? So staying with Zimbabwe from 2015 September, at no point does their previous article mention that weather modification should be stopped. It's been going on too long, it's too risky, you know, if we're going to talk about weather systems being extreme, then how can we modify the weather? It's a bit contradictory. So 2015 Zimbabwe to buy cloud seeding aircraft, to buy weather modification aircraft. Note the image used. Not exactly a cloud seeding aircraft, that one. It's the other one. After purchasing the plane, Zimbabwe government released $200,000 for cloud seeding. From December 2017, cloud seeding set for this week. Again, Zimbabwe media choosing a very interesting picture. You can easily see that's not a cloud seeding aircraft again. It's the other one. And really, you can take it for granted that going by that cloud base, that that aeroplane is around 60,000 feet. So that plane is carrying out stratospheric aerosol injection, also known as solar radiation management, also known as geoengineering, also known as chemtrails. And for those of you that are concerned about the term chemtrails, there will surely be a board on this video with a link via the social networking channel explaining to you what contrails are. Good luck with that. Weather modification aeroplanes staying on that subject over to India. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited test civil aircraft Hindustan 228. It is a 19 seat multi-role utility aircraft and the image used of the 19 seat utility aircraft it's defence ministry owned, so it's government owned. As mentioned, it's a multi-role utility aircraft that can be used for weather modification, cloud seeding. Over to Yahoo News from the Christian Science Monitor. Silver bullets can cloud seeding ease the drought in the West? Well, Doug, the answer is no. It's the cloud seeding that caused the drought. As the season in the Northern Hemisphere starts to come to an end in a month or so, you start to see the season starting in the Southern Hemisphere. So there's a piece of New South Wales legislation from Australia. Snowy Mountains Cloud Seeding Trial Amendments Act 2012. There's the 2004 version where to be removed is a trial cloud seeding research project and it has to be replaced with cloud seeding operations. Please keep joining the dots on this international situation where absolutely no one is saying stop the weather modification so that we can see what happens to our normal weather systems as they seem to want to continue to state that you can have huge quantities of weather modification projects going on and extreme consequences are happening and we're not just not supposed to connect that to it. It's all supposed to be down to something else. Thanks for watching. Look after yourselves and see you next time.